Hey all, if you're like me, you have a lot of bits and pieces laying around. Today we're going to talk about how you can use those to make some fishing lures. So stay tuned. So, I don't know about you, but I like to fish. And fishing lures aren't expensive, but sometimes you just got a lot of stuff. You got various pieces of length. Uh, just laying around and it's like what do you do with them you can make only make so many keychains and the like so one of the things I started doing is making little fishing lures now this is a little bit of a homesteading a little bit of survivalist but also it can just be something fun to do is there an exact science to it not really uh, this is something that you will want to go and mess around with and play with but all you really need is some scraps of paracord, a hook, preferably one that's a decent length. And then what I use is I get a little split shot. Why a split shot? Because if you don't, uh, the, par the lure has no weight to it. So this gives it a little bit of light weight. So ideally, you would have some type of vibrant color. I'd use this for this one, uh, but you can use just about anything. Um, it really depends on where you're fishing. And let me say this is primarily for freshwater fishing. So <clears throat> what you can do is take your piece. Can I figure out how long it is so you know how long you're going to cut? In this case, I'm going to cut right about here. So I'm going to cut this piece. And put this to the side. Now, here I got this piece. Okay. So what you're going to do first is you want to kind of, you're going to need to make room for the split shot. So I try and stretch out the head area first. So this way you're making a little bit of room and you're pushing the paracord strands that kind of replicate a feather or a tail on a minnow or um, you know I use a lot of rooster tails so it kind of replicates that look. Then you're going to take the, this and you're going to feed it in. Now what I usually will try and do is I don't want to feed, push all this in. So I'll hold it here and then shove here. So now you can see we have the head. Now the idea here is you want to leave that exposed, but you want to put this in so that it'll go right at the top. So what you're going to do is take the split shot and just squeeze it a little bit. In this case, I'm going to need my pliers because it is being a rat bastard. So I'm going to lay it down here like such and just squeeze. The point is I want to get it on as best I can. And squeeze it in as tightly as I can. It may become a little oblong. That's that's perfectly fine. The fish aren't picky. The idea is just get it on there secure. And then what you're going to want to do is take where you made that room and surround it. So this is kind of replicating maybe the head go like that feed that up a little bit give it a little bit of room 
Maybe take your pliers, try and help get this stuff up. Now in this case, it is not wanting to cooperate. And you don't need to completely cover the head. It's kind of more of an aesthetic thing. Quite frankly, the fish are really not going to care for the most part. Most of the time when I'm fishing, I find that you could, sometimes it depends on the color, or but a lot of times it's just the action. In this case, this is not cooperating, so I'm going to squeeze it up a little bit more, try and get it a little bit more So, okay. And now we'll see if we can get that in. Okay. So now what we're going to do is you take the your pliers. And you're going to take, I would say, normally, you know, I use a butane. But in this case, I need a lower flame. I don't want it to really take off as far as the uh, flame goes. So what I'm going to do is all I'm trying to do is shrink it up. It's all I'm aiming to do is shrink it up. I'm trying to shrink up the cord to go around and to tighten up and seal. You can see kind of getting a little bit of an hourglass look. Let's take Let's just see. Now we're not done. And really, honestly, guys, it's going to depend on your sheath. Some of these will burn up and, and scar a lot more than others. So that's just something you're going to want to be aware of. So now you can take, you have all this stuff at the top. I'm going to take... torching this. Now the idea here is I don't want to use any glues. I want no glues. I want this to be as natural as possible. Take a little screwdriver, a little flathead. And so now that split shot is for the most part covered. And we have ourselves a nice, easy, fishing lure. If you want, you can try and maybe uh, melt these a little bit more so they'll stay in. But for the most part, this is going to work. And this is just, like I said, a very basic, easy to make uh, fishing lure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more to come. And until next time, keep paracording. Later.